What's going on guys? It's your boy Ant. God made 32 on Instagram and today we back with Marvel Secret Invasion episode 2. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah guys, we're finally back after an amazing episode one man that was filled with so much intrigue, so much mystery, and just a ridiculous ending that I was not expecting in multiple ways. The last episode opened up so much new doors in these characters' psyche that we never got to see before, and we got to see the softer side to Nick Fury in a lot more ways than one. And after what happened in the last episode, Man, this one might be one for the books. But yeah, guys, if you want to get these episodes a little bit earlier, man, please go ahead and become a member. And if you like what we're doing here, please go ahead and do the YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Now, without any further ado, let's get... 97? What happened there? Clara, welcome. I'd like you to meet someone. This is Gravik. Oh, shit, young Gravik. Piloted a ship all on his own. He is smart, Fury. Knows how to survive. We could use someone like him. Oh, shit. Graphic, this work here, you know it's very dangerous. I'm not afraid. I can see you now. I like the de agent on Nick Fury, too. For those of you who braved the journey here to Earth, you did so for one reason. This man. Mm hmm. <laughs> The world's facing a serious threat. And I could use your help. Putting on a new face and keeping it. This is the promise. While you work to keep my home safe, we'll find you a new one. You keep your word, I'll keep mine. All right, people are stepping up. Oh, geez, and now we back to the end of episode one. The madness shall continue. This is not sitting right with her. Oh shit. Yo, I can't trust nothing in this show. Чернокожий американец. Видели у кого-нибудь похожего? Чернокожий американец. Клава Варшав. Здесь больше шансов встретить инопланетянина. They've gone. The one time she said, "Tell me something." I don't know about you and Susie. Me and Susie had a standing game of doc. Me and Susie saw a bullfrog with polka dots. <laughs> My mama just smiled, told her everything she needed to know. Uh, you want to go a few rounds? Sure. Tell me something I don't know about the destruction of Skrullos. You know everything there is to know. Oh, I don't no. know. Right. They're here. There's a million scrolls walking amongst us right now. And every scroll that isn't in Emperor George's colony. You lied to me. I could let my people be annihilated or summon them here to Earth. What would you have done? This ain't about me. You said I said you're spies and you're errand boys, as long as it's on your terms. Oh, shit. Because you were gone. Even when you did come back, there was no talking to you about anything real. Mm. My hope is that with your help, Skrulls and humans can coexist here on Earth. Humans can't coexist with each other, Talos! We've been at war with each other since we could walk upright. There is not enough room or tolerance on this planet for another species. Ooh, buddy, that's a fact. Matter of fact, neither is this training department. I think this is your stuff. That's crazy. We got a Sam Jackson moment, though. Yelling at a motherfucker. Yeah, it's heavy. How did it happen? Kind of quickly. Don't you be one of those bastards who gives me a platitude when I'm looking for the truth. Mm. She died in Moscow. We were there trying to stop the attack. Someone set a trap. Someone wanted to hurt me, so they hurt her. I don't know what Maria died for out there, but whatever it was, don't let it be for nothing. Mm. Why am I getting emotional? My nose just flared up. Like I was about to get the sniffles. The NATO Secretary General says NATO is acting swiftly to gather intel on the bomb. What the Kremlin regards as an all-out declaration of oh, war, war by the Americans. That's a fact, oh, though. Same. Well, I call bull on that. There's no way that... <laughs> FXN Fox News. This has got false flag written all over it. 
This time is right. Definitely a false flag joint. How did you know Fury would be there? I didn't, but I hoped. I wanted to see how much of him was left. I knew I could have killed him if I wanted to. Oh, jeez. You just get me to the council meeting. I want to see their faces while Moscow's still burning. This man is sick in the head, bro. I'm not out in an hour. Shoot him in the head. Let's see what this council meeting looking like, though. Who all in here? I see you all dressed up in the man's finery, drinking the man's wine, playing the man's game, using the man's fork and knife. Better to behave as a human than as a dog. Ooh. <laughs> what the hell gives you the right to disobey this council? Okay. Nushkin pix kolos, pitchurakiash, kaj bajua shush, kajo shaklakiku, hirog, herom kust. Kajushat musham, bun hepuk mir un garuma arwar mij nas kajai. I think it's a war. Mm. I think it's a war. <laughs> 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 and what happens if the Avengers return? You don't think I thought about that? Put your faith in me. Your loyalty will be repaid. We need a single commander whose war power is total and unchecked. My God. Therefore, I nominate Gravik. I'm the commander of NATO. I can mobilize a million troops at this level. Oh. oh. I mean, you ain't really give them no choice. It's either do as I say or you die. I fear each one of you has forgotten our history. We ended up homeless refugees because we were too willing. I will not support your war. You go in peace, sister. You're not behind me. Shit, I'll be worried too. Especially with that prime minister talking about. Right outside though. At least get a little distance. He has control of our people and our future. Gravik has changed. So have I. Sauron's dead. But if you can't keep it together, you will not walk out alive. Surely. This is getting so tense. And I like it. Harvest wasn't there. My DNA selection remains extremely limited. Gravik has given me multiple locations for the harvest, all of them empty. I think they're trying to make a super scrolls, huh? Roadie road. I can't take the authenticity of Russian supply photos at face value. However, I will be more than happy to have them analyzed at our facilities at Langley. Huh. Huh. How do you explain Mr. Fury's presence in Moscow? Alleged presence, madam. Slovakia rolls its eyes at me one more time, I'm going to put on the suit and carpet bomb it. <laughs> Surely President Ritson is aware of the seriousness. Until such time as you can present an actual shred of evidence to back those concerns up, I'm afraid sensitivity is all you're going to be getting from us. Now those are bowling ball sized nuts that he just swang around in there. Nice suit, Armani. Pretty expensive for a government salary. Yeah, well, my other suit's made of titanium, so this actually constitutes considerable saving. You sound frustrated. <laughs> Croatia talking crap. Slovakia. I could bomb their ass. <laughs> it's one o'clock. Do me a favor and try not to pop off a nuclear holocaust before you get there. Your face is all over CCTV footage. I was there trying to stop the attack. Meaning you not only set the stage for World War III, but you simultaneously flipped all of our allies to Team Russia. Need that. How well do you know your security detail? What if I told you they were all spies? Hydra? Yeah, if Hydra was a bunch of green guys who could shapeshift into your daddy. So how long have you known about them? Eyes only top secret presentation. Pentagon was concerned that they might get into their heads to uh, invade us one day from the inside is real <laughs> that's not possible yeah that's what i thought too but it's true maybe we should call our friends facts we get them in a fight with the scrolls and next thing you know they find themselves duplicated and turned into terrorists that's so this is my are you really talking to me about politics right now i'm here as an envoy of the united states government fury the job is political I remember when your job was protecting the planet. We owe each other. So let's make the power mean something. Help a brother out. <laughs> These men are going to escort you outside, then you're going to the airport. Have you even listened to a word that I've said? The enemy is a million times more dangerous than Hydra, but they can only be vanquished by you. 
But you should know better than most. The point of Ooh. this power is to be uncompromising, to be able to sit across from a man we greatly admire and to tell him without any reservation that he's fired. Oh, wow. He said you to fire me? I volunteer. That mess that you created in Moscow that resulted in getting one of our best people murdered, you earned all this smoke, brother. Ooh, don't hit him with the attitude, brother. That just because you stripped me of my title, I relinquished my DNA. Careful, you. <laughs> you wonder why you're out. I'm Nick Fury. Even when I'm out, I'm in. Ooh, just remember that, Rhodey. And he gonna remember this too. Yes, and now that the door is unlocked, what does that tell you about me and doors? <laughs> She's tough. She's tough. I like her. She's like Shorty from Harry Potter that came in as the new Defense of the Dark Arts teacher. Cheerful, but an undertone of menace. Where is your safe house? Didn't your mother ever warn you you could lose an eye by beating your meat like that? <laughs> Where is the escape hatch in this dump? Why do you need to know that? Oh, just a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, now that's confirmed. Let's party, shall we? Right. I knew she knew what was up. She's the only one that could help. Fury then. What are you doing in there? Checking the progress of our newest recruit. You know, I remember when you first came to me, Gaia. I thought to myself, what kind of coward sends his daughter to do what he wouldn't? But, you know, then I realized that kind of coward just doesn't have it in him. I'll never talk to you. Well, that's very brave. But everyone talks when their blood starts to cook at 160 degrees centigrade. Oh, shit. The smart ones start talking earlier than that. You a smart one? <laughs> In his eyes. <laughs> Tell me the location of Gravit's compound. Oh, I swear, I, I don't have it, please. Gravit keeps everything a secret. And what secrets doesn't he keep? He's building a machine. What kind of machine? I think it's to make us stronger. Oh, they are making <laughs> super <laughs> scrolls. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Who's leading the science? Some married couple. What's their name? I can't, please. But if I don't get a name, Graphic won't get the chance to kill you. <laughs> the name's Dalton. Oh, you see, that wasn't so terribly difficult, was it? <laughs> this is gonna get juicy. Ooh. So y'all ain't hear this man just fall over just now? Your lift is here. <laughs> I like her so much. Oh, my back. Oh, oh, he's devious. How very Dostoevsky. I mean, those guys put up a decent fight, though. I got him. Let's go. What'd you tell him? Nothing, just lies. Nothing, just lies. That's all I swear. He's gonna kill him. <clears throat> Keep driving. How did he find our safe house? Now, is it gonna think it's him, like Hello, the buddy. dude, or is that he gonna have suspicions that it's shorty? I think he's gonna think it's the dude. You may make it home, Peggy. Almost there, bro. Oh yeah, black homie finna be scared as shit. I knew he was gonna kill her. Why he ain't do it though? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh shit, he married a scroll? Better. Almost. Don't tease her. Never leave her. Got the job. Oh, that's where it ends?
But yeah, guys, that was episode two of Secret Invasion, man. And that was just awesome, G. Like, and not awesome in the same way that episode one was awesome. This was awesome with the intenseness, the gripping nature of the story, and with the buildup of episode one and the backstory that they laid on with episode two. There's just layers on layers on layers of so much double crossing, triple crossing, broken promises, hurt feelings, planets are on the line, people in different positions in different places in governments across the world. Like, there's just so much going on, so much in place in just two episodes that I am totally fulfilled by these two episodes, man. This episode was a much slower episode than the first one because there wasn't much action going on in there. But the action that did go on in there, it was meaningful. It was towards the end when they went to go break our buddy out of custody. We learned so much about the inner workings of what's going on with the scrolls. We found out who is in their inner circle. So now we're looking out for those people. Because like right after that scene when I found out the prime minister was in there, I was shocked. I seen the prime minister. I seen the guy from the news in there. And then these other three people that was in there, I know they're going to pop up and be people of note later on in the series and this just looks amazing man there's so many good things in there the acting again in this episode was ridiculous from everybody all around amelia clark is doing an amazing job man you see her breaking down the more she's finding out about the inner workings of the people that she's working for and on the other side you see the determination of her dad that's reaching his breaking point with the entire situation because he's feeling more and more helpless same goes for nick fury in this situation man we've never seen nick fury this low we've never seen nick fury have a breaking point we've never seen people talk down to nick fury as much as we've seen in the last two episodes so much so that even Rhodey is talking shit to him like come on Rhodey. like i know you're a hardliner but you ain't even talk this crazy to iron man bro and you're talking like this to nick fury right now nah man there, there, there's gonna be high consequences and repercussions and some ass kissing gonna have to go on at the end of this series to justify what the hell Rhodey just did right there man i can't even lie to you because Nick Fury does have an amazing point. He's like, who put you in this position to be able to talk like this? And we've been through experiences to realize that what's happening on Earth is just a small portion of what's going on in the universe. We're, we're supposed to be Avengers, and you're, t you're talking to me about political schemes that's going on on Earth. We're bigger than that. And he's not getting it because he's, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. Like, maybe Rhodey's a scroll too. And if that's the case, how long has Rhodey been a scroll? I, I am totally confused. I'm totally lost when it comes to who's a scroll and who's not. Because the deeper we get into the scrolls plan and what they have been doing over the past 30 years, the deeper yet still we have to dig. And it's just total madness, man. We start this episode just going back to episode one and picking up the pieces from what all happened there. We seen Maria Hill's mother and that hard conversation that she had to have with Fury. And just saying a lot of things that I know that he knows and you can see it on his face that every, every word that she's saying is breaking his heart that he had to be the one to put her daughter in that situation. And it's just crazy. The last statement that she made, just make sure that whatever she's died for, it means something. That hit me in the feels, man. I almost started crying in this joint, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just with that alone, like, I don't know what it is, man. Grieving parents always get me, you know what I mean? Seeing the inner workings of the scrolls, seeing how devious and intellectual Gravik is, uh, seeing all of the mechanisms of their plans, seeing most of the mechanisms of their plans. Let me not say all because, like I said, I feel like we're only like two or three layers into their plans right now. That scene where you realize that the Prime Minister of the UK was in on Gravik's plan the whole time, like, that took me for a loop. I was like, wait, what? She's in on it? Just like Buddy at the table, like, you knew this whole time. I'm like, she did. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was just so nutty. It was just so good. This series is building up to be one of, if not the best Disney Plus series so far. And I'm not going to say easily because Loki is like up there for me right now. WandaVision is up there for me right now. And I think this is like a strong third just after two episodes. And there's been a lot of Disney Plus series. But right now, this is like a strong third for me. And if it finishes out 
super strong the way how it started super strong this could be number one easily love the tone of the episode love the workings of each character love the drama that's building love the tension of each scene love the tension of the entire moment that they're in right now love the conspiracy nature of it love the confusion it's just madness and nick fury is the one in the middle of the maze trying to find his way out right now and it's nuts. Man, this is crazy, man. This is so crazy. And Nick Fury got a wife? When Nick Fury get a wife? I think that's the same one that introduced him to Gravik like back in the past. You know what I mean? They seem awfully close, but with the hedge touch thing, I think that's like just the way how scrolls greet each other. But he looked real close to her in the past. It looks like it's the same one because they did a close up on her in the past and gave us a close up of her as a scroll before he walked in the door. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, what about this episode got you excited, man? What are you looking forward to when it comes to the next episode? Who do you think is a scroll? Did you know about Super Scrolls? How are they even going to make Super Scrolls and what DNA they're going to take to put together to make them Super Scrolls? Because when they ask that question, what if the Avengers comes back? Buddy ain't even flinch. He's like, I thought of that. The Super Scrolls are incoming, man. Scrolls that are able to take superheroes' powers and copy them down. Man, this is going to be so nuts. Do you think he's aware that Gaia is playing double agent right now? And what do you think is going to happen in the next episode, man? Jump down in the comments and let me know, man. And if I missed anything in this episode that I should have been excited for, jump down in the comments and let me know what I missed. But yeah, guys, if you like what you're seeing here, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know. And it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. I don't even got nothing clever to say. This episode got me winded.